Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome back to Chaosville. So, today we're going to have a look at something different. Um, this craft is going to go on hiatus until we're ready to go explore in, in a few different worlds and stuff like that. We've got some community projects on the way so we can do some collaborations with some of the other guys. Uh, we're probably going to start at a train station and before I tell you what we're about to do, look at this, look, 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 look. <gasps> I am one lucky mofo. <laughs> I um, I went back into the Miscraft world, uh, age I should say, not world. This one here where I got the three libraries from last time and decided to loot a few more of the um, things that were around in that world. And yeah, I found another portal gun. So I've got one in here and one downstairs. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've also got a whole bookshelf full of uh, enchanted books now as well, which I'll probably trade with the guys uh, at some point. And uh, what else did I find? Yeah, a bunch more pages as well. As you can see, I've got a few more pages. Not too many, but not too shabby. So there we go. We can do some decent stuff with Miscraft in another episode. But in this episode, I wanted to make a start with a very special mod. And it's called, well, I'll show you now. It is called... The uh, modular power mod. Now, we briefly touched on this in one of our old episodes. So, first thing I need to make is um, the tinker table, the power armor tinker table. And as you can see, I need an emerald, a uh, circuit, and a machine block. So, uh, before I started this episode, I smelted a bunch of uh, refined iron right there. So, we'll grab that. And if I remember rightly, I have got one emerald left up here. Yes, I do. Awesome. So, we'll take that one emerald. Uh, it's the last one. Bloody good job I have that spare. Because uh, I would have been stuck without it. Uh, what else do we need? Ah, we need some wires. Wires, wires, wires. So I've made a, a couple cable plan for this. Because we're going to be making quite a lot of them. I'll show you in a minute how to make one of these uh, blueprints. So, we're going to need six for just now, aren't we? I believe, just one circuit. Let's have a look-see. In fact, first we'll make... Oh, hang on. You can take that out of there. Make our machine block that we need. There it is. There's our machine block. And we want one of these. So we need some redstone and some refined iron. In fact, I've got some redstone there. Refined iron. And there's our six copper cables. Hey up. What have I done wrong here? Is it not refined iron? Two redstone. Two redstone. Ah, that's what I've done. Silly me. There we go. So there's our circuit. So now we can just go uh, machine block, circuit, and emerald, and there is our tinkle table. Oh yeah, and this thing is cool. Just look at this, I think. Where should I put it? Should I put it... I think I'll put it there. There we go, look at that. How awesome is that thing? So we'll have a look at the UI, and you'll see that uh, it knows I've got no modular power suit items, so we need to make um, an item before we can even use the tinker table. Uh, so the first thing we're going to make is the power tool, uh, the armor I'm going to do later. Hopefully we'll try and get the armor done in this episode. But I'm not quite sure if I've got enough resources for it because we need a lot of uh, copper cable. Uh, let me see now. So the recipe for this. So we need three circuits and two refined iron. Now you think that's fairly cheap, but this thing will do nothing when you first make it. It won't have any abilities. So I'll show you that in a moment. Um, it's not as cheap as you think it is. It's cheap to create, but it's not cheap to get it to work. Anyway, let's get on and get one of these made. So uh, what we're going to need is a piece of paper because we're going to make a blueprint. I'm going to show you how to make one of these blueprints. Da, 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 da. Shout out to the guy on Twitter who reminded me how to do this because I had actually forgotten. <laughs> so well done to you. Thanks for reminding me. So we're going to need a flower because we're going to transmute this flower. 
we're going to transmute it. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me see now. Uh, that was it. So we, we want to take the dye and we can transmute dye into a different colour. So let's see now. Uh, transmute that again and again and again and again. And we're looking for. Is it. No, yeah, I think cyan blue is what I'm after. Yes, I am after cyan blue. So let's just keep doing that. Almost there. Purple. There it is, cyan blue. So here we go. Medium stoners are awesome, aren't they? <laughs> so what we can do now is you get your blank piece of paper and a piece of cyan blue ink. Does it go like that? Hang on a minute. No, 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 no. It's not cyan, is it? I think it's magenta blue. Yes. Okay. Let's um. Let's just keep transmuting. Grey dye turns into grey dye. Pink dye. Green dye, light blue dye. Um, dum 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 dum. Okay, I'm obviously getting this wrong. Let me just check. That's what I'm after. That colour there. Recipe. Purple. Hang on a minute. That is... No. Did I not have it a minute ago? <laughs> That's magenta, orange, black, red, green, purple. Should make cyan. There we go. How many times did I go past that? <laughs> right, so cyan. What the hell? Brain. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can actually transmute the colour I'm looking for, which is actually indigo. So, oh, bloody hell. There we go. So we need to go and find some purple plants. There we go. We'll have that one. And we'll also have that one. There we go. Sorry about that. I thought that I could actually transmute it from another colour, but obviously I cannot. Um, I'm not sure if the indigo plant's part of a different mod. But there we go, there's the indigo dye that I was looking for. So yes, there we go, we put the paper in an indigo dye. There we are. Sorry about that guys. There's my blank plan. And what you do is put your plan on the left hand side there. And, uh, oh hang on a minute. We need to make some copper cable. Put that plan there. Do, 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 do. Let's see now. Let's put that there. Put those like that. And what am I looking for? Oh, these. <laughs> Silly me. There we go. So that's electronic circuit. So you put the recipe in like that with your blank plan, and you click this button at the bottom, and now that plan has been written for it. So you can take that out and you can see we've got an electronic circuit plan. So if we take all these out of here and put them down there, we'll see if we put that there, you've got like this ghosted version instead of actually putting the items in. So I can just take those out and obviously because I've not got enough uh, copper cable, it's telling me that I've got those missing. So that is awesome. The blueprints are really good. So I can just put my blueprint in for the copper cable, get... 12 more of those, because that's what I need. Put that blueprint back in, and then I can make another two of these. How cool is that? Right, so. Um, so, power. Recipe for this guy. Oh, he's not displaying properly, unfortunately, but it goes like this. Ta da! So, there's the power tool. Alright, so we put that die in there. So now we've got our first thing, and there it is. Oh, it's, it's awesome. So what we can do is come over to the tinker table and right-click, and it knows we've got a power tool now. So you click on the power tool, and you've got all these different options. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a energy into it. 
So we'll, we'll look at the other stuff. In fact, no, let's, let's have a quick look through them now. So you can attach different things to this power tool. And first thing you can see is weapons. So we can have like a melee assist. And if I click on the melee assist, you can see that it's got this ring going around it so you know that it's selected. Down here, it tells you what you need to uh, get the melee assist. So we need two servo motors and one LV capacitor, which is a low voltage capacitor. So we're going to need to craft these items. And once we have two of those and one of those, you just click install and then we will then have melee assist. Um, and then we've got uh, a plasma cannon, which is so awesome. But as you can see, the items, a HV capacitor, two of them, and two force field emitters. So let me just show you uh, how expensive these things are. You think it's cheap to make the actual item, but to make the things to upgrade it uh, are crazy. Ah, there it is. Force field emitter, so we bring the recipe for that. You'll see that we need four ender pearls, one advanced circuit, and four of these solenoids. Bring up the recipe for one solenoid. You need a machine block and four of these wires. And the recipe for the wires is gold cable and redstone. So it isn't cheap. This is not cheap. And that is just for one of those force field emitters. We're going to need two of those. And not only do we need two of those, we need uh, two HV capacitors. So let's have a look at what it takes to make a capacitor. So if we put HV, uh, recipe for this is uh, a Lapatron crystal and some more of these uh, wires. So Lapatron crystals, you know, as you know, is that is the recipe for that. It's going to cost you diamond, a bit of, of uh, redstone. So yeah. Oh my god, but I may be complaining a little bit that it's expensive, but it is goddamn awesome. This thing is awesome. So, this is the sort of, this is the board I'm gonna be upgrading. I'm gonna get a full suit of this stuff and over time I will get all the add-ons for it. Uh, so you'll see that we've got tools as well, so we can add a shovel and an axe and a pickaxe. And you can also add um, abilities to it, special abilities. So these are almost like um, enchantments but they're uh, upgrades because it's an electronical device so there's aqua affinity and diamond drill upgrade uh, so let's um, let's see so you need three diamonds and a solenoid for that for the upgrade and for that you need uh, a servo motor so that's not too bad um, and then you've got different power supplies so you'll see here you've got low basic battery just needs an LV capacitor and then you can upgrade that uh, when you need more power to an advanced battery and then you've got an elite battery which uh, is a HV capacitor. Now these things uh, you can have one of each but these things actually weigh, they have a weight so I couldn't have all of these things attached to this device because it'd be heavy and uh, it'd actually slow me down when I'm walking around so that's a factor you've got to you've got to worry about, especially if you've got a full suit of armor, because all of the armor combined has its own individual weight. So, <laughs> oh yes, you have to be really clever about what you're doing with this thing. But there we go. So that's a quick look at uh, how that works. And each piece of armor has got its own UI like this, and and things you can do. I, I love this. This is this is a fantastic mod. And um, so at this stage. I think we can afford to get um, the basic battery, which we're going to do, the basic battery, so an LV capacitor, let's uh, work on getting an LV capacitor, so let's bring up the recipe for that, LV should be right there, recipe, oh god there's no recipe, oh god, oh god, right I'm going to have to look up the recipe online. Uh, just so I can get this done for you. Oh, what a pain! Okay, yeah. So it is a fairly new mod. Um, yeah, but look at this arm before I go. Look at that! Look at that beauty! Oh yes! Oh, it looks so mean. <laughs> and the whole suit of armor. When I've got the whole suit, my God, you look epic. Right. So I'm going to quickly go and check the recipe for the. Uh, LV capacitor and I will be right back okay so 
<laughs> after trying every single recipe, the only one that works is uh, the one for IC2. So what we need is an RE battery right there and the wiring on either side of that that will give you the LV the LV capacitor, that's right. So uh, yeah, for some reason um, all the other recipes don't work at the moment so hopefully that will get rectified at some point but at least the IC2 stuff works. So if we go into here now and uh, go on the power tool and then we can click basic battery we've got an LV capacitor in our inventory so just click install and there we go yay we got a battery so it's got maximum energy of uh, 20 kg and it's got a weight so you can see the weight is 2 kg there um, obviously if we keep adding more batteries to it we'd have more maximum energy but the weight would get heavier uh, and yeah that's something you need to worry about so there we go we've got some power in this thing now which is great uh, so let's maybe look at the Oh, it might be too expensive. No, I don't think I've got the stuff for that. Let's see what this needs. So what? Another LV capacitor and a servo. Two servos. Let's see what's involved in making a servo. Uh, there it is. Hopefully this is affordable. Yes! I think we can create some of that. So we're going to need two solenoids. That needs two machine blocks, a bunch of wiring, yeah, no problem. Okay. We can do that. So that's three machine blocks we're going to need. Dum -dum -dum. We can do this. Let's get some more of that refined iron. In fact, let's get all that refined iron. And let's get three machine blocks made. So that's one, one, two, three. And we will put all that back. Uh, recipe uh, one circuit which we've got a blueprint for oh we're missing some cables so we get some more of that look how good it is with blueprints it's so much easier <laughs> um, let's carry on oh hang on I need to make I'm making servos here so I need to make another circuit sorry copper cable let's get some more that's another circuit. Right, so now I think we're good there, aren't we, for the moment? Let's just double check that. Yes, so machine block. Oh, what bloody hell. We're not good there, what we're we talking about. We need to make these solenoids. So, that's machine block surrounded by four of these which I'm going to need immediately need more of already let's pick them up do, 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 do. whoops there we are that'll do so there's one there's two I think we've got what we need now. It's machine block, circuit, solenoid on either side, and there we go, a servo. So uh, I'll just go and make another one, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, we're nearly done. I'm just making the battery for the last piece, which is the uh, LV capacitor. So that goes like that. Whoops. There we go, and there's the LV capacitor. So we've got too many machine blocks there. Oh, okay, we'll just need to put them. So there's uh, our two servos and our LV capacitor. And if we just go over to the tinker table now, click, click, and uh, we're making the melee assist. So you see how it's lit up now? It knows that we've got the uh, equipment for that. So we click install, and there we go. Another thing to note before I carry on is that uh, you can else you can salvage your equipment. Now you may not necessarily get everything back from it. But if you wanted to remove the melee assist weapon in replace of the plasma cannon, obviously because of weight restrictions, uh, you can salvage some of the items back uh, instead of just destroying it. But anyway, that's, that's pretty good. I love that feature. So now we're on to the tinker bit, which is down here, bottom right-hand corner, where it says tinker. 
So you've got your impact and your carry through. Uh, you've got your punch consumption, which is 10 joules. I think we've got 20 kilojoules, haven't we? So that's not too bad. Uh, and it'll do two points of damage. Now what we can do is we can adjust by sliding these uh, the impact or the carry through. So uh, the carry through is basically the knockback. It also does damage as well with the carry through. So if we push this up to say, um, say, I don't know, 50, no, that's not, 45 joules. Let's see if we can get that spot on 45. Yeah, close enough. Um, so that'll do 4.8 points of damage. And it's going to take 45.4 joules from our 20 kill joules. So I think we should go and give this a test. You will also notice we have a U, uh, well, um, a little UI thing in the top left hand corner there. That's telling us how much power we've got left in this thing. Um, you need to know as well that you're going to need some equipment to recharge this thing. Um, which I don't have at the moment. So we're only going to be able to do maybe one or two tests with this baby before I need to start worrying about power. Um, I think that is going to be something for the next episode. Um, getting more power. Who should we go and punch? Um, let's see. What well, I don't really want to be taking on a creeper. Must be... Endermen are a pain in the ass because they just teleport everywhere, don't they? I do it to the chicken, but they they don't have enough health. Oh, that reminds me. One second, one second. We did a little bit of recording last night, and I oh, not that one. Exit. I deactivated this. There it is. That's back on now. Oh, okay. Looks like we're kicking off with the Enderman. Oh, shit. Going doors for a second. What have I done? <laughs> Shut up, you. Did I switch that off? Is that on or off? Ooh, he's on. Right. Oh. Damn it. Ooh, there he is. Oh, did you see that? There we go. We punched him. Oh yeah. Come on, then. Enderman got a lot of high off. Um. But you should see that my power is going down with every punch. Oh god! This was not a good idea. Can't believe I managed to look at the Enderman. Yeah, bugger! Let's get me back to the wall. Come on then, bring it! No! Oh, you sneaky bastard! Come on then! Come on! <laughs> Where's he gone? Where's he going my house? He's in my house! Come on, bring it! Oh. You wimp, where'd you go? Oh god, Jesus. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, he teleported just as I got to him. Ugh. Right, let's get it. Right, okay. Let's, um. Where is he? Let's try and push this right up. This is gonna deplete all of my energy. In fact, I don't have that much, have I? How much have I got? 19. Well, that's only jewels, isn't it? Yes, that's 100 jewels, so I've got killer jewels. I've got loads. So this should kill him. This should kill him. Let me check again. Uh, 10 points of damage this will do. So I should only need to do maybe one or two hits on him. Ooh! Ooh! Get him! Oh, there we go. See, two hits. There we go. But did you see the energy drain? It should have drained quite a bit. I can't see because my um, uh, my recorder frames per second is right in that corner, so I can't see. But there we go. That was a good demonstration for you. Bloody Enderman wasn't the best person really to be fighting, but never mind. Let's put a line there. Uh, yeah. So you can see the potential with this, and with the armor, which unfortunately I cannot create at the moment. Um, you get lots of options like this, so we can fly, we can jump, we can run really fast, all those kind of things. So this is the armor we are going to be working towards in the next few episodes. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, next episode, we definitely have to get our power station sorted 
because I've got no way of charging this thing without a power station. Uh, yeah, and I've used quite a lot of power out of that already. Yes, install modules. Yeah, you see how it says um, press shift for more information. If I shift over that, it tells you the installed modules. So got melee assist and a basic battery, which is pretty cool. There's a nice little bit of information on there. Ah, I really want to show you. I really want to show you the uh, the plasma cannon. The plasma cannon is out of this world, though. So, loads of fun. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to be um, sorting out my energy supply, and hopefully, we can carry on then with getting the rest of the armor from the uh, modular power suits. Okay, see you next time.